Hey everyone, welcome to this training video on how to operate an off-road haul truck. So today we'll be using a Komatsu HM300 haul truck, which is an articulated model. Uh, we have it out at our Minnesota site, we thought it'd be great to do a training video on it. First things first, we've already done our pre-op inspection on the haul truck as well as the site. And then, you know, I always tell you every time, we are not experts. I'm going to show you kind of what we've learned, but I always encourage people to give comments, feedback, and what they've learned. So let's get into this thing and check it out. First thing, three points of contact anytime you're getting in and out of any heavy equipment. Komatsu haul trucks load from the front. Okay. Close the door. First thing, seat belt. Okay, so again, we're in a Komatsu, it's an HM300 haul truck. This is going to be pretty similar though with any other haul truck you might uh, use. Turn the key initially, see if there's any warnings. Turn the key, start it up. First thing, doing, making sure the parking brake. A lot of times it's going to initially alarm with the air brakes, just getting, uh, making sure we're good there. Uh, I have a parking brake on. For the Komatsu haul truck, there's a red switch over to the right of the transmission. Uh, that is my parking brake. Now I'm going to kind of go over some of the controls here. And again, they're a little bit different from some machines, but uh, again, the ones I've been in are, are, are fairly similar. Uh, obviously for steering, everything, you got your left hand steering wheel right there, uh, right's your shifter right there, similar throttle and a brake pedal, just like you would normally have. Uh, so coming kind of left to right, most of this is very basic on here. You got your radio controls there. Uh, Komatsu has their climate control system right there, lights and everything on the left side. On the right side, we have a few things on the dash here. Uh, there's the differential to lock. The differential, generally, you want to be in auto uh, just to let the, you know, the, the machine will let you know when it needs to lock out or do anything like that. If you're in really soft or muddy material, you may just want to lock your differential so all wheels are spinning at the same. So that would be the switch there. Uh, and then other, like in Komatsu, there's an emergency steering button there. Uh, there's some other features that obviously you want to read the manual and make sure you know all the different features on it. And then to the right, we have our rear view backup camera there uh, with the, I can adjust my uh, display there. That's very handy in these machines to kind of see where you're backing and where you're dumping. Uh, obviously with the backup, this is a large machine. So you also want to make sure your mirrors are positioned. So on my left and my right, I can see all the way down um, the, mach the machine, make sure they're positioned appropriately. Um, outside of that, uh, we then on the, the the steering wheel here. So there's a couple, two different ways you brake on a off-road haul truck. Uh, you've got a service brake, just like you would in a car. Um, that's gonna be typically how you'll bring it all the way to complete stop. Uh, and then you also have a retarder on this. So on the Komatsu, it's this lever right on the right of the steering column that I pull down. And what that's gonna do, it's uh, using the hydraulics to basically slow it down. So it's if you're going down a hill, you don't want to burn up your service brakes there. So that's usually, you'll be pulling that down to actually, you don't want to use it to come to a complete stop. You would want to use it if you're in a large incline going down just to slow the machine down. Uh, this thing hauls is about a 40 ton machine. So that's got a lot of weight. You don't want to just use your brakes. You'll it's generate so much heat, wears those uh, out really quickly. Um, let's see, and then for the dump bed itself, over here, you got one lever, and this is pretty standard in most dump trucks. Uh, right now, uh, if you put it in the middle, usually when you first go in, you have to reset it. So right now it's in the middle. Uh, you put it down into float, which is all the way down, and I, on the Komatsus, you'll get a display, and you can't drive or do anything unless that is gone. So it's gotta be in float. Uh, and then to raise it, if I just pull back on it like that, uh, again, the Komatsu will do it on its own. So it's going up on its own. Uh, you can set those limits on where you want it. Generally, you can also give, I'm in park and everything here, give it some throttle. That will make it go a little bit faster. I'm looking out my windows. So these will stop. It'll stop at a preset point. Uh, so that's there. You Almost all of these, though, have a little bit additional. If I pull back, it'll go even a little bit more. Uh, you shouldn't necessarily have to use that every time, depending on what material you have in there, if it's sticking in your bed. And then to bring it down, just to reverse, you push it all the way down and same thing, it'll start coming down. 
I'm going to bring it down. It's uh, obviously best practice to not be moving forward while that's coming down, although I'll show you when we dump. Typically, you want to come forward a little bit to drop the material. Then it's all the way down, and it's down in float in front, so I don't have my indicator, so now I can drive. Okay, so now for driving. Uh, first thing, foot on the service brake, I'm going to take the parking brake off. Transmission on the Komatsu, you basically have your drive, which is your automatic, and then you've got two different reverses just for different speeds. Uh, typically, I recommend, these machines are so smart, let them do all those calculations for you. So drive is going to be automatic. It's going to basically calculate uh, what gear it should be in. So this one's right now in drive, taking my foot off the brake, and I'll start giving it some gas. So the most unusual thing with an off-road haul is it's articulated. So I think that's the biggest uh, thing for someone driving a traditional dump truck that's got your wheels in the front, or even a off-road uh, haul truck that's not a off-road, uh, your axle's in the front. This one's just like a wheel loader. So it is articulated. So that means when I turn, I'm actually, my front tires aren't turning. It's actually articulating a pin behind me. The important thing to know too, is if you're in a really tight area, that actually, if you notice, it'll swing my outside out a little bit. Uh, so if you're in a really tight area, just be careful and be aware that it'll swing like that. Bring it all the way around. And if I'm there, come to a stop and I've got my reverse. Again, in reverse, you want to make sure your mirrors are set. I've also got the backup camera there to back straight up. Stop there, neutral, and then back and drive. So those are the basic controls. Uh, let's show, we are excavating a little bit of area out on our property. Uh, so I thought it'd be good to kind of drive over and we can show you uh, how to basically center, set this up in position for someone that would be filling it. Okay, so I've got Jake up on the excavator. We're just gonna do a little bit of an example uh, load here. So typically know where you're going. The more you can do it pulling forward, obviously that's ideal. Uh, with this, I actually have to back up. Typically what's gonna happen is the excavator, who's ever loading, is going to have the bucket over the area where they want you to park. Um, so that's generally kind of a target. Obviously, you don't, they don't wanna generally be loading over your cab at all. So I'm coming around, I know a rough idea on where I want to go. I'm trying to line it up there. Putting it in reverse. So the way they communicate is generally a horn, so I'll see if I can hear Jake with that. I'm also looking at my cameras, I know it's gotta be right in there. So Jake, honk there. You're putting it in neutral, parking brake on. Now mine, I've got a load, uh, most of these have a load sensor on it, and they'll tell you how much they're loading in there. Um, so that's, this is a 30 ton, a 30 ton capacity there. So I'll be able to monitor that on my screen. For this, I don't believe Jake's loading me full. He's just gonna maybe do four or five in here, just as an example. So once you get that horn, neutral, back in the drive, parking brake off, I am pulling forward. So kind of the area, know where you're going for a target. We're actually just putting a large pile here that we're gonna be pushing out later. So ideally, you don't want to raise that uh, bed at an angle. You know, the more it's an articulated machine. So the more angles you're at with this, the more risk you could have on this thing tipping. So I'm going to put it in neutral, put it in reverse. I'm going to back up a little bit. I got my backup camera. And then neutral. Usually I recommend putting a parking brake on. So now I'm just going to pull this back and it'll start raising. So where again, you can give it some throttle. Watching a dump in the mirrors, and I can also look right off my camera that'll show me below. 
once it's all the way up, you know, generally it's always, it is a good idea to lower it with parking brake on, but a lot of times you want to pull away with some of that material so it falls off. Foot's on the brake, take the parking brake off, put it, it's going to alarm at you, let you know that's still up. But if I drive forward a little bit, again, I can raise this if I did want to go up higher, I can get any material out of there and then I'm going all the way down. You definitely don't want to start doing any turns or any maneuvers while that's coming down. It's one thing to inch forward slowly to pull away. It's a whole nother thing if you're trying to turn and you're obviously your center of gravity is a lot higher. There it's all the way down. I have no alarm and I can start driving forward again. And I'll park it right here, put it in neutral. Obviously make sure that parking brake is always on that keeps your machine from rolling at all. This off, let it cool down for a little bit, about 30 seconds or so. We'll shut that off. And three points of contact getting out. That's our Komatsu off-road haul truck. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, by no means are we experts. You definitely want to check the manual, uh, but I'd also be interested in hearing your comments, feedback. So please comment below if you run one of these things full-time. Might have some good tips or suggestions. Thanks a lot for tuning in.